Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead, author of the book Managing Pain and Coexisting Disorders. Welcome back to part three of my All About Pain series. This time the topic is about what do you do when someone is living with debilitating chronic pain and develops a substance use disorder up to and including addiction. I'm very excited to be offering this information to you. And if you want to learn more and you're watching this on YouTube, please go to the link below for my professional blog. Today's blog is going to talk about how I utilize the addiction-free pain management system with one of my former patients, Jeannie, and how she was able to implement these three core components to achieve effective chronic pain management and, more importantly, freedom from suffering. You know, I'm very enthusiastic about a lot of changes coming up here. And please keep coming back to my blogs and to my videos to learn more because it's going to be really dynamic and it's a new way where I can interact with more people at a higher level. To learn more about managing pain and coexisting disorders, you can also check out the link below this video to check out my book of that title, Managing Pain and Coexisting Disorders Using the Addiction-Free Pain Management System. And basically it'll cover three core components. Appropriate and effective medication management combined with cognitive behavioral pain management interventions in addition to learning how to use non-medication or non-pharmacological pain management modalities. The biggest thing I offer people is an opportunity to get their lives back and to achieve freedom from suffering. And I believe that freedom from suffering is everybody's right. But I also tell my patients it's their responsibility. They need to be active participants. I was working with someone this morning who is probably the most proactive patient I've worked with in a long time. He has followed all the steps that we develop during our sessions and implements his game plan between sessions. His quality of life has gone way up. His distress and dysfunction about pain has gone way down. It's possible it's preferable and it can happen. So please keep checking back with my All About Pain series and learn what's new next time. Thank you.